Hi guys, it's Splinterverse. I'm playing Hex Shards of Fate. The format is Mary Mealy Corinth. The game is free to play on PC and PS4. So check out the link in the video description to download the game. I like this, but the odds that it'll have a target is lower. This always, always, almost always has a target. And you can tunnel it too, so if I draw it next turn I can tunnel it and then it, when it pops up the likelihood that there'll be a troop over here to, to minus down. Is higher. Hmm. I could eventually get a lethal with this, or I could get this death cry. It's so expensive though for that death cry. I'm gonna go with this. Maybe I'll get a zombie. Last time I picked him, I never saw him again the rest of the game. And he's not great. I, I really didn't like that card anyway, but... This is a great card. Gives you five health on demand. Alright, so now we can tunnel him. Or if he plays something, we can deploy it. Um, yep, perfect. Deploy it, minus that down. But we'll see what we get, because we might get something better. Take that on the off chance that we can use it. And you use that effect every time he comes back out, and if you buff him and he comes back out, you know, then he does more damage, because that that was based on his attack value. So if I buff him to a four, he would kill us. don't want that, although his deploy effect will still work. It just would be for less, so... Play this. Sacrifice this. Get the health from it. Don't attack. Let him attack with this. Actually, no. Yeah, we'll block with this. So this won't die. We'll give him Gladiator. Which will further protect him from this and other things. Okay. I thought he would attack. He has a rebirth. He should have. What you gonna do? I don't really have any troop that's worth targeting with this, but I might get one, so let's just take it in the hopes that it is. Fortunately, I'm doing a lot of that this game. Taking actions in the hope that we'll use them. But already that Ring of Blight Bark has paid off twice. actually play him for the first time in this format that I can remember there may have been a time years ago that I played him in this format and I don't remember but I don't normally pick him because you know it's a build around card you really need that's 
that's interesting. I haven't really seen that in this format. It'd be cool if he played a flyer. Troops, I don't. I think I will take this. He might try to deliberately kill this in some way to. Minus one, minus one this. It has a rebirth. You should definitely try to get it killed. This is very good. I need a removal. Great with the Midnight Shepherd. If I want to keep him alive, though, I can't attack <laughs> unless I get a flyer or something because um, he'll just block with this and then minus this down permanently. So I either have to buff him first or get a flyer or something. So this is an interesting sort of stalemate, but look, we're at 38 life, building up a good group here. We've got removal to then steal. Okay. Too good. In three turns, we'll have a ten ten flyer on their turn. Still no troop that's a good target for this, but something could die here and go into our deck. stupid things. I did that so that I can block him again without dying. Without it dying. It's a good thing I took this, huh? I can steal it next turn if I do it, though. So I'll do this 
and that, or if you play something better. That's a useless card in this format. At least it does damage, I guess. Okay. Well, in that case, since we can't... S Actually, yeah, let's do that. Let's give him a day break. Oh, and we can play pack hunters, but only if our troop is in there. Should have attacked with this first, but it's okay. There's our Midnight Shepherd. These lurking Rapjaws are really doing some work for him. turn we're going to attack before we play anything. It's not letting me select him as an attack. There we go. This is awesome. Okay, good, I hit resources. Flyers, so I'm going to go ahead and attack. This is crazy. It really wanted me to take steady the scales. Trigger this guy.
fine. I knew he might hit that. That's fine. I don't have that many cards left. I don't want to create Valors. Um, he needs to draw his flyer here. I could attack with everything and let him start minusing things down, but... What's this? Okay. It's a good thing he's doing that, because that's the one thing I was worried about him minusing down. So that'll come back, and now I can safely attack in. Yeah, he can ruin this, but oh, it won't come back, that's right, that's fine. something flight this turn. Play another flyer. Alright, so what do we want to get flight to? Probably our little 5-5. Five five. Could attack with everything here. Yeah, because he can't possibly block everything, and we only need two additional to get through. So I'll do that. Yep. Alright, so Lightning Armada for the win that card that we played to get that because it just did the bulk of the damage there. Midnight Shepherd for a backup MVP though. Let me know in the comments what you thought the MVP was. Please subscribe to the channel. Please click the bell icon and the like button. And until next time, happy hexing.